Hey YouTube, sorry I've been gone for so long. Um, life just got a little hectic. I, I started a new job and I'm sure all of you know that starting a new job is quite time consuming. Uh, all the ramp up time and just getting to know people, um, getting to know your new rhythm at work and your new schedule. And so I kind of I kind of took a pause from YouTube here the last couple months just to get that situated. Um, but now, now I feel like I'm in a good rhythm there and hopefully I can get in a back in a good rhythm here with YouTube. Um, but to catch you up really fast, uh, something that's happened in between March and today is that uh, I got an opportunity to do an exhibit here at the community center in town. And so I thought I'd talk really quickly about kind of what it's taken to get to that point. Um, first is I got the opportunity simply because I sent an email to a couple art organizations here in town and just saying, hey, this is who I am. I'm a photographer. Um, here's some of my work. This is my website. This is where I previously done some, some shows and stuff. And uh, if there's anything I can do to help out um, with your organization, please let me know. So some time did pass, maybe about two and a half months. And then one of the organizations, CCAI here in Carson City, that acronym stands for Capital City Arts Initiative, reached out to me. And two big thumbs up to Glenn and Sharon. Um, we met up a few days later. I brought him some work. I showed it to him. Um, they really liked it. And not a day or two after that, got an email from Sharon asking if I wanted to go ahead and exhibit in the Crowell boardroom, which is inside the Cars Carson City Community Center. And so I was super excited about that. And um, that's what kind of brings us to where we are today. I have this exhibit about 37 pieces at the community center between running right now it started July 5th and is going through October 20th um, but the planning the planning was daunting um, especially when you get a location that has over 60 feet of wall space there's a lot of pictures that need to go on those walls and so I have probably everything from 8x8s to 24x36s, 37 of them. Um, it took about four hours to hang the whole show. And honestly though, that was a lot of fun um, hanging it. Uh, but let me go over really quick um, how it really went. Uh, I got a map here or a piece of paper with room layout. And so from that point, um, I have rough dimensions. And what I did was I went through my website and I decided, okay, these are the pictures I want to start with and printed them all out on five by seven cards. Lots of five by seven cards. In fact, probably close to 70 five by seven cards of printouts. From there, I started organizing them all around the room, taping them on walls and figuring out which ones went together. Um, which ones I wanted to make 20 by 30s, 24 by 36s, um, eight little 8 by 8 squares uh, that I wanted to showcase as well. And from there, I started narrowing down. I started seeing which ones work better with other ones and then narrowed it all down. Um, I had to place an order with Artbeat Studio. As you probably watched in previous video, Artbeat Studios does a great job. Um, it literally only took them about two weeks to get 10 20 by 30 metal prints delivered to me. Uh, it was, they came out all amazing. Uh, they were packaged super well. Nothing was damaged, which was incredible. And, and then from there, once I kind of got that done, I then start typing up a little Excel spreadsheet, a list of all the pictures. Because these, these photos here that were at, at this exhibit, um, they're also going to be up for sale. And so I had to list things, obviously, for the, the people helping out here and creating the title cards. Uh, the title, uh, the orientation, the media, um, the size, um, how it's hung, wire, float, and also the price. And so that's kind of how the last couple months have gone for me. Um, honestly, I've been pretty pretty all consumed with this right here. This, uh, this show is called Alignment and I will go ahead and post some information so you can check it out online, that, the information I have online right now. And also on the day of the artist reception, which will be August 2nd, 2022, uh, I will be going live on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. Um, and so please mark your calendars and check that out if you have an opportunity. 
And I think I'm going to stop this right here because I got a lot more to say about this, but I want to keep these videos short. So I appreciate you watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and also mark your calendar for that live date, August 2nd, 5 p.m. Pacific time. See you then. Bye.